Hey guys, welcome back to the MLB The Show 24 Red Sox franchise mode. And we're taking on the Mets in this three game series, second game today. And of course, even though we have clinched the series or clinched the division, we're still looking to break that record of 116 wins. So let's try to aim for 117. I believe in my previous The Show series, um, MLB The Show 22, I believe I got 120 wins or something like that. So I can also break that as well. I don't, exact, I don't exactly know the numbers, but uh, we just got to keep on going. So today, let's see who's going to be on the mound. Uh, today, Tanner Howell will be on the mound against the Japanese pitcher, Kodai Senga. Uh, oh my God, look at that. More players need to be rested, and I will let them do so. So it looks like CJ Chrome might need a rest. So I'm going to replace him. And Durant's going to need a rest as well. But, of course, I would prefer uh, Rafaela. Actually, I prefer lefty. So, William Abreu, in terms of lineup, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to have Colt Keith lead off for us. Yoshida's going to bat eighth. And Cass is moving, blah, blah, blah. I think this is a well enough lineup. So, we've got Colt Keith leading off. And i got Carpenter, Devers, Martinez, Garford, Cassis, Abreu, Yoshida, and Carlos Correa. Here is Kodai Sang, a 25th start for him, 6 and 12 with an ERA for 4.46, 131. I'm a little bit confused with this. We already had this, this cut screen, um, in the last episode. So it looks like they made a last minute change in the lineup, back to back games already. I wonder what happened to that. His first pitch, swing and miss. It was a horrible pitch, it was a fork ball. And later on, with the flare to left. Oh, and the diving catch. It was a good effort by left fielder, but Cole Keith, after a horrible swing, uh, he got himself a base hit, a leadoff single here. 3 1 count to Carpenter. And that's a fly ball to left. That is going to be dropped for a base hit. It is a ground root double this time. And just like that, we are opening up the inning very well here, but I can't really say that until we score a run. A double by Kerry Carpenter. And oh my god, it's that fork ball again. And that's a fly ball to left. It's going to stay in the ballpark for sure. Ooh, got some carried. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, and Car Oh, he is safe at third. How close was that? Devers with a sack fly. And we're taking a one nothing lead. I'm a little bit surprised that Carpenter is not out at second or at third. And that's a line drive to right. Carpenter just backed out for no reason. It's going to roll all the way. JD's going to go to second base. But the throw was off. And we're taking a 2 nothing lead. JD Martinez with an RBI double. 3-2. That is going to be a walk. I didn't even realize that it was a walk, but the count, I mean, the inning is still remaining. One out with the man in first and second. Cass's first swing. It's going to be swing and miss. And that's a popped up. Very disappointing a bat by Cass's. Infield fly, Rue apply, two outs. 2-2. Two -two. And Abreu swing and a miss on a fastball up high. And we left two men stranded. It was a little bit disappointing towards the end there, but I'm not going to complain about the lead. Tanner Helk will be making his 28th start of the season. 18-4 and four with an ERA of a 2.22. 0-2 count to McNeil. And he looks at that one for strike three. And he's down on three pitches for the first out of the ball game. 0-2 count to Bader. And swing and miss on a splitter at the bottom of the zone. Back-to-back -back strikeout to kick things off for Hauk. Two out. 3-2 count to Nimmo. And while we lost him, it was a long battle. I can't believe it that we couldn't strike him out or get an out off him. 0-2 count to Alvarez. And a ground ball to the hole. A base hit. And two out single by Alvarez to keep this inning alive. 0-2 count. And swing and miss, strike out the side. I'll take that. It was a bit of an eventful bottom of the first to end the first. And that's a ground ball. Up the middle for a base hit. Yoshida with the lead off single. 0-1. That's a ground ball. Oh, knocks it down. 
by Francisco Lindor and back-to-back -back base hit to kick things off at the top of the second. And right now, going back to the top of the lineup here. First pitch swinging, ground ball up the middle on the first pitch. It was poor from Cole Keith, two out, 3-2 count. And that is going to be a walk. And two out, this is a perfect scenario because Devers at the plate right now. 3-2 count, payoff pitch to Devers. And swing and a miss. He chases that one for the third out. 0-1. Lindor, fly ball to left. Yoshida backing up, running back. He makes a good running catch for the first out. 1-1 count to DJ Stewart. And that's a line drive to center field for a one-out single. And ground ball. Right back to the middle, 1-6, and 3 double play to end the second. And that's a ground ball, hard hit, knocks it down by a second baseman, and JD couldn't beat it out at first. A good recovery by a second baseman for the first out. 2-2. Two -two. Garfer, fly ball to right, it's going to be over the head, oh, it's going to be off the wall, but he's going to stay at first. Yep, it would have been an out, but that would have been a long single by Mitch Garfer. One out. 3-1 count to Cassis. And that is going to be a walk. One out. Two men are on bases here. Third walk allowed by Sanga. 0-2. And swing and miss. Abreu is down with the strikeout. Two outs. 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball down the line for a base hit. Garfer turning first. And oh my god, it's gonna be it's gonna be out at third. Oh actually no. Oh Cassis is there safely. Three to nothing. Yoshida barely got anything to it. Actually, it was good enough to you know to get a single. Three to nothing to the Red Sox. Two two count to Korea. And swing and a miss on a sweeping curve or a slurve outside of the zone for the third out. 2-2. Two, two. Narvaez went down swinging with a sinker in the middle of the zone. One out. 0-2 oh, count to Matt Neal. And a ground ball pulls over to Cassis. Steps on first. Two outs. 0-1. Oh, Bader pulled this one. Soft line drive over the head to Devers to keep this inning alive. And ground ball up the middle for base hit. Again, two-out situation. We just couldn't get anything done. We just couldn't get the last out for the past two innings. And no two out right now. Here comes Lim Nimmel. Actually, Alvarez, but it doesn't matter. A ground ball to Coke Keith to end the third. And that's a fly ball to center. It was a hard hit. Does it have enough? The answer is no. In front of the warning track, in front of the wall, one out. 3-2 count. And that's a line drive to left center field, hard hit. It's going to roll all the way to the wall. Surely it is a one outstanding double by Carpenter. 3-2 count. And swing and a miss on a fork ball at the bottom of the zone. Devers is retired for the second time today. And by the way, that was it for Sanga. And Peterson comes on and replace him. And swing and a miss on the first pitch. 2-2. Two, two. JD lined this one to left field. Carpenter is going to come home. And the throw is on the money. But Carpenter got a much faster speed than the throw. JD Martinez with an RBI single. And we have further extended the lead here to 4 to nothing. Garfer on the first pitch popped up. And it's going to be caught by Navarez to end the top of the fourth. 1-0. And ground ball right back up to the middle. Hauk, good reflection. One out. 0-1 count to Lindor. And a ground ball. Correa couldn't quite get there. And that's a one-out single by Francisco. Lindor. Abreu, what are you doing, man? Why, why it takes you so long to throw the ball back? Right now, Lindor is a second, and that counts as a double. 1-2 count to Stewart. 
And a soft ground ball to Coke Keith, but there's no play at first. It was close, but DJ Stewart plays the ball very well for him to beat the throw. One out with one out uh, with the man in first and third. 0 2 counter Cunha and a ground ball. I'm going to first. I know it could have been a double play, but Cunha's way too fast, so I don't think we're going to turn that double play. Instead, we preserve that run in. And we still have that shutout so far. And... Oh my god, I was about to say not anymore. But it was a soft liner to Correa. One hopper and a forced out a second and the fourth. And that's a fly ball to left. Going to stay in the ballpark. It is. It's going to be caught for the first out. And that's a soft fly ball to right. Coming in. It's caught. Two outs. 0-2, Yoshida, ground ball to Lindor and Peterson, got himself a 1-2-3 inning. 1-2 count to McNeil, and a soft ground ball to Correa, picks it up, one out. 0-2 count to Bader, and a ground ball softly hit to Devers, good throw, two outs. 2-2 two -two count to Nimmel. And he looks at that one for strike three, and that's a 1 2 3 inning for Hauk. 1 2. And soft ground ball to Lindor. Actually, Acuna. That's a good throw. One out. 2 1 count. And that's a ground ball softly hit. And that's a good play between the first baseman and the pitcher. Two outs. First pitch, ground balls. That is going to chop. On the dirt, or on the line, and two outs double by Carpenter. I think he might be on fire, guys. And line drive to right field. Hard hit. And it was not caught. It's going to be over the head of DJ Stewart. And on the first pitch, Devers launches this one over the head of the right fielder. And we have taken a 5 nothing lead. And JD, fly ball to right. And it's going to be caught this time to end the top of the six. 0-2 count to Alvarez. And a ground ball to Correa. He makes a good throw. One out. Mauricio line drive to Cassis. Good recovery there. I'll take that. Two outs. 1-2 count to Lindor. And a ground ball up the middle for a base hit. Lindor is not going to go to second base this time, but we keep him intact. Two outs. 0 2 count. Last out for Tanner Houck today. And that is a swing and a miss. And we are going to the top of the seventh. 2 2 count. That's a line drive to left. It's going to be a base hit. Ooh, it, it is another long single. Mitch Garver simply can't run fast. And even though the ball was offline, I would rather. I would rather him to be safe. And that's a line drive to center. And what a diving catch. By the center fielder for the first out. And a ground ball. Another one down the line this time. Another base hit. I believe we have collected 12 base hit total. And that's a pinch hit single by Tyler O'Neill. And again, I'm going to the bullpen again. I mean, not bullpen, whatever you called it. Uh, substitution, go to the bench. Back-to-back -back pinch hit single. Can we do that? 3-2 count to Rafaela. And swing and miss on a fastball. It looks like we can't get that pinch hit back-to-back -back single. Right now, we all have to rely on Carlos Correa to keep this inning alive. And line drive. Left center field is going to be dropped for a base hit. For sure. Two runs are definitely going to score. Garfer is in. O'Neal is in. 7 to nothing to the Red Sox. A two-run RBI double by Correa. 30th double for him. And that is it for Peterson. And Adrian House are coming on. 57 game for him. 6-3. And, and he has an ERA for 3.68. And ground ball on the first pitch. But it's going to be a routine play by Cunha. To end the top of the 7th. And we have added 2 more runs in. 
Justin Slayton coming on, 44th game for him, 3-0, 11 holds with an ERA of a 2.01. 01 count to Acuna, and it popped up this time. He was late with that contact. And Garford barely has to move, one out, 02 count. And swing and miss, he is down three pitches. That was an absolute painted job by Slayton with that two-seamer at the far bottom right corner. 0-1 count to O'Neal. And a flare to left. It's going to be dropped for a base hit. For God's sake, we just can't get that 1-2-3 inning today. And a line drive straight at Cassis. Not much speed behind that ball. He's an easy out. And right now, top of the eighth. And it popped up. A sinker at the top of the zone. It's going to be caught by Lindor. One out. 3-1. That's a ground ball. Pulls it, rolls it over to McNeil. Two outs. 0-1. Oh, and a fly ball to right. Softly hit. It's going to be caught this time for a 1-2-3 inning. Cooper Cresswell is going to come on. Third game for him. I believe he started for us a few times because of Cutter Crawford absence. But he's going to come in to make an appearance here. And I believe he can pitch for the last six outs. Nimmel, ground ball to Correa to his right. And the throw is very, very off. Couldn't pick that up by Cassis. And again, that was an E6 this time. 0-1 to Alvarez. And a fly ball to right. It's going to be a home run right over the wall as well. And Francisco Alvarez with the two-run bomb from 7 to nothing to 7 to 2. And Chris, well, you got to do better with that pitch. But again, you got to you gotta ask Correa, should he have done a better job there? Because I know, I know it's only a one-run difference, but still 2-1. And ground ball to Correa. Please take two. That's a better throw. One out. Lindor in the first pitch. But Rafaela backs it up just a little bit. Two outs. DJ Stewart. Ground ball. Cass has picked it up. Nice pick to end the eighth. And there you go. Mitch Garfer with a moonshot to left. On the first pitch he sees to the second deck, 16th home run and 54th RBI of the season for him. A hanging slider right down the middle. You're just asking for trouble. And abs he absolutely crushed this one. Wow. I just got to watch that replay. 8-2 to to the Red Sox. First home run hit by us today. And it took us a long, long time. There's a couple of times where I felt like, you know, good contact. But should have the ball, you know, get over the wall. This time, Mitch Garver just knew. Boom, so sweet. Oh my god, imagine the plane. I mean, <laughs> imagine the ball hits the plane. It'll be absolutely really funny. But 8 to 2, 3 1. And fly ball to center. Hard hit. And it's going to be a back to back home run. And this time, Cassis took yards. Eighth home run for him of the season. A fastball up high. Actually, seventh only. Oh, actually, yeah, he, he doesn't play a lot since CJ Krohn comes on. But 9-2, back-to-back home run. You don't see that very often with this uh, with this series because I don't hit a lot of home run. I got a lot of good contact, but none of them turns into a home run. But that is it. Holy cow. Cassis makes a 9-2, and that is it for Hauser. Phil Bickford coming on 64th game, 1-6, 8 holds with an ER of a 2.93. 0 2 count. O'Neal looks at that one for strike three. One out. 0-2. Oh, and swing and miss. Rafael is down on three pitches. 2-2. Two, two. And check swing or a strike anyway. Strike out the side by Bigford. Right now it's all down to the last three outs today. And first pitch swinging. Sinker right down the middle. And of course Cunha. Has to launch this one to right center field. And that is going to be a double for him. 0-2 count. Navarez. And swing and miss on cutter inside. That's a better pitch. One out. 0-2 count to McNeil. 
And a slider. Jammed him. Correa. Got to make a good throw. He does. Two outs. One, two. Count to Bader. And swing and a miss. He chases for that one. That was a filthy slider to end the ball game. And we have won this series 2 to nothing. But today's game, it's 9 to 2. What an absolute performance by the offense again, scoring nine runs past the New York Mets. And of course, Mitch Garfield with the solo bomb in the end just to make the game a little bit more interesting. And actually, since I was talking about Garfield, I got to also bring the credit up to Cassis. Of course, back to back uh, Homer. Towards the last inning, just to add a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, solidarity um, capability at the back there, and that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.